Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined by the dog this time. Today's video is my week 17 to 19 pregnancy video. I decided to combine them because I feel like not a lot changes week by week at this point. So I just combined them a little bit and the weeks have flown by. So, um, how big is the baby? I don't know, big. It was between like a cucumber ish size feels like a watermelon already so this should be a long road um, what's happening developmentally I will be 20 weeks on Tuesday which pretty much means that the baby would be viable you know could possibly survive an ICU or the NICU which would pretty much mean the baby would be considered viable at that point so it's pretty much fully developed. The skin is finishing developing and all of the parts are developing or have been developed, things like that. So a lot happens, I feel like, in week 17 to 19. Um, feeling physically, doing really good. I Everyone asks me always how I'm feeling. I feel so much better with this baby than I did with my daughter. At this point though, with my daughter, I still felt pretty good. I feel like in general pregnancy is pretty good to me. I enjoy being pregnant. I like being pregnant. I just think it's really cool. I've started to feel the baby move a lot more. So I always look forward to that. I can't wait for my daughter to be able to feel it, for my husband to be able to feel it. So that's kind of exciting. Um, symptoms, same kind of, I talked about last time, ligament pain that runs like along your belly, like down in between your legs is killing me. I have to like wait a second to like get going. But once I'm going, I feel better. It's just like when I sit down, I feel like it's impossible to like, you know, take off at a start. So hopefully I don't get like chased by a bear or something. Because if I was sitting down and saw the bear, I won't make it. Um, my vitamins, I switched my prenatal vitamins, one a day prenatals, because they are soft gels. I had a heck of a time with the ones that are not, so they're like smooth, you know what I mean? Um, I got so sick from my other prenatals that I showed you in my other video, like violently threw up. Like, I can't. So, I couldn't do it anymore. I will tell you though, if you're having a hard time with prenatals, um, my nurse practitioner told me that Flintstones Complete, you could take two of these. And those would be good as well the more you know I don't know take it for what it is um cravings food I don't know um, every morning I still have my pure grapefruit juice and cranberry orange Velveeta bars because it's my life and I like it, it makes me happy and I don't really I can't really say there's anything I've been like super craving I laid off the bologna at this point. Be happy about that if you're a bologna hater. And right now I'd really like a really good salad to eat. Nothing crazy. Isn't that boring? Nothing like, oh, pickles and olives and mayonnaise and peanut butter mixed together in a bowl. Yeah, not really. I don't really have anything fun at this point. I know. That's kind of boring. Um, how my body has changed. <laughs> I just feel marshmallow 101 pretty much where I'm at right now this shirt's not super flattering it's a huge shirt it's a nasty rainy day today and listen I'm just trying to be comfortable I'm not trying to look like a supermodel up in here um my dog doesn't care so I will say at this point so I'm almost I'll be 20 weeks on Tuesday at this point according to my scale because I feel like my scale is just a little bit gentler than the doctor's scale. I've gained 11 pounds. So 20 weeks and I feel pretty good about that. I gained 42 pounds with my daughter, which I personally don't think is terrible. Some of my doctors are like, and I'm just like, hold it, bro, I, it's fine. Like, I'm good, it'll maybe come off. So I don't know, I feel pretty good about it. How I'm feeling emotionally, about the same, I will say, kind of skipping forward to one of my next bullet points, 
We did have our big anatomy scan a week and a half ago, maybe, um, at 18 weeks. The baby looks great. Um, no signs of spina bifida, no signs of Down syndrome. Now that doesn't mean that the baby doesn't have those. It just means all the markers aren't being met for those things. So that's good news. Our baby still could have those things, but for my blood tests, from the measurements, from the ultrasounds, there has not been any indication at all that anything is wrong with our baby as far as health issues, chromosome issues, anything like that. So I'm um, so thankful for that. And we did find out what our baby is, which is super exciting. Um, if you remember my last video, I did not want to know. We decided that we were going to find out. I actually decided to have just like a date night with my husband and we found out together. So only my husband and I know right now and we've known for about two weeks. We've told no one else, not even our daughter because she is like rrr, 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 with a megaphone. So she'll tell everybody. Um, and it's kind of been fun just having us to know. And so far I have not slipped up. I'm pretty proud of myself. We are telling our families the end of this month. And so I'm excited for them to know. And yeah, here's a picture of the cake. Sneaky peeky. And I'm so thankful to Publix. I have to shout them out. If you guys have a Publix in your area, they made me this cake literally in four hours. I dropped off the ultrasound results. I kind of talked to them ahead of time because nobody would turn it around that quick. I had talked to them ahead of time, asked them, and she's like, sure, absolutely. It's a special occasion. I'm happy to do it for you. And it was just my husband and I. It wasn't even to eat. It was just like, tell us what our baby is. Because there's no good options if you're trying to find out this way, like immediately just you without anyone else knowing. I didn't want a third party to know and then tell me. You know what I mean? So huge shout out to Publix. I'm so thankful um, that they turned it around for us and made it a cute little gender reveal cake. And my husband and I stopped off at a park on our way to dinner. We cut the cake. We found out what our baby was and then we went to dinner. It was so exciting. So um, I'm excited to share that with you guys soon. What I'm looking forward to. Uh, today I went through like the attic where all our baby stuff is and I'm looking forward to like getting kind of settled like nesting full mode right so that's kind of exciting i found like our infant carrier and our bases and like all that kind of stuff it's not expired so that's great news so i feel better just like going through all of our stuff like inventorying everything that we have stuff that we need last time i got rid of like pacifiers bottles all that kind of stuff just because i felt like regardless of what it is i would want to purchase that new just because I mean, it's been for it'll have been almost five years so yeah you know what I mean um, my next OB visit is a week from now I'll be 21 weeks at the time and then pretty soon I believe I'm gonna switch to seeing them more frequently and I just can't believe that I'm almost halfway this belly looks like I'm halfway this belly has caught up with me like usually in the morning I'd be like oh wow I, I feel good like I don't look that huge I don't think but literally but after lunch, I'm like, well, first of all, do you see this? Like, hello. But seriously, it catches up with me. And so far, no one has said anything stupid to me. So that's kind of nice. I feel like it's coming, though. You know, yes, you haven't seen anything yet. Most people are like, oh my gosh, you look so good. And I'm like, just wait. This belly has surprises in store. So that's coming. Name of the baby. Yes, we have a name. We had names for boys or girls, and now we obviously know what it is, so it makes it much easier. It is not something we will be telling anybody. We didn't do that with our daughter, and primarily because we don't choose traditional names. I don't really care if people like them or not. They can decide on their own after they meet my baby if they like their name, and most of them will keep them to themselves. You know what I mean? So it is not something that we will be saying until we see our babe. But I'm excited. 
So that is it for weeks 17 to 19. And I will combine the next couple of weeks most likely also just because the weeks go by so fast and until things start progressing, I don't think there's really anything to catch up on. Um, we'll be sharing what we're having soon, kind of nursery progress. We are gonna be doing a nursery combination with a guest room. I don't really wanna lose our guest room, so it's gonna kind of be both. So stay tuned for that. I do have some other videos coming for you too. Halloween costumes coming, some other ones, so stay tuned for that. I will leave you with a shot of the belly and I will see you guys next time. Bye.